Hi, Maria here, and in this video I want to show you a dynamic way to practice your Warrior One. To begin, come into your downward facing dog, spreading the fingers out wide, and pedal out your feet a few times, stretching out. Make sure that your feet are at hip distance and that you're sending the shoulders back and the sitting, sitting bones back and wide. Maybe bend your knees, hug the low belly in and up, lengthen through the spine, and let the shoulders settle back into the body. Begin to lift the right leg up behind you, reach it up high with your inhale. Bend both knees and bring your right knee in towards your nose, push against the floor and straighten the left leg. Step the right foot to the right thumb. Bring the back heel to the ground naturally and notice where it lands. Right hand to the inside of the right foot, lengthen through the spine make sure your front knee doesn't go beyond the ankle and that it's tracking out not collapsing in begin to slowly rise rotate from the rib cage and shoulders not from the hips bend the front knee a little deeper if possible reach the arms up high at shoulder distance Take your arms behind you, interlace the fingers without locking the shoulders, extend the arms. With your exhale, fold forward into humble warrior. Press into the feet and really engage the legs to come back up. As you exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Engaging from the legs, inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Inhale as you engage through the front line of the body to come up, not defaulting to your back, but using the front of your body. And you want to flow this way maybe about five times or so. When you come to the last one, let the arms reach up behind you. Still keep your hands interlaced and the shoulders drawing back. Bring the hands to the floor after about one or two breaths there. Come into a low lunge. Inhale. With your exhale, step back to your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet. Once again, bend one knee and then the other, walking your feet in place. Creating some movement, stretching out. Bend your knees, begin to send the left leg up behind you. Reach it up nice and high, so exhale and inhale. Take a full breath to lift the leg. As you exhale, bend both knees, bring the knee in and step the left foot to the left thumb. Lift up the back foot and place it naturally on the floor. Back toes and back knee face the same way. Left hand to the inside of your left foot. Hug in through the front line of your body and slowly start to rise. Engage through the front. Rotate rib cage and shoulders, not from the hip. Arms extend towards the ceiling. Take a full breath, then reach the arms behind you as you interlace the fingers. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, begin to fold forward. And with each inhale, begin to lift back up. Exhaling to fold and inhaling to lift. Remember to continue to press into the feet and that energy is coming up from the floor, from your legs. The legs are supporting you. They're not moving, they stay in the same shape and you move from the upper body. And as you do that, remember to engage the front line of your body, not defaulting to the back. You never want to default to the back and compress the low back. Once you finish the last one, hold it for a breath or two, then take the hands to the floor and step back to your down dog. So that is a great way to stay in your warrior one for five breaths and still create movement in the body, more mobility more functional movements in the body to create more heat in the muscles to strengthen and build more muscles than you would by just holding warrior one thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to share and to leave your comments